Hey yo guys, my name is OnceBite and welcome back to In Sound Mind. Now, in the last episode, we finally... Oh, we can't get out of here. Okay, we finally got inside of the lighthouse. We found this little door here that we've got to find three keys for. And that is all I know so far. We've got a phone call. Hello? Waking up in cold sweat. Oh, no, we've already done that one. What really happened to Alan Shaw? His name's Alan Shaw, okay. The case of Alan Shaw, the lighthouse keeper, suspected of setting the fire that consumed parts of Icarus Point. Continues to be a hot button issue. Alan's a pretty strange dude, but setting fire to his own house, I don't know if he's capable of doing something like that, said Frankie ne Nielsen, a frequent visitor to Icarus Point. An office official press release by the Milton Haven Police Department asserts that Alan used a flare gun to start the fire and that the, and that the case is currently being investigated as a failed suicide attempt. This supporter, however, has his doubts. Why would Alan have a, a flare gun in his possession? An item more commonly found on ships out at sea than a lighthouse. The water gets muddled even further when considering Alan's call to the police shortly before the incident which mentioned men in black going to and from the ship crash site at Patmos Beach. Did Alan see something he shouldn't have, have, or is this just the product of a mentally unstable man's imagination? Only Alan Shaw can answer these questions, and he may never wake again. Well shit, you ain't gonna be calling him Alan Wake, that's for sure. There we have the red room. Nice. Cool. Oh, there's a key. I'm not sure how I grabbed it. It's currently 4.49pm and I am at Icarus, looking out into the vast ocean and I'm sad. I don't know why, sadness found a home in my chest. It moved in with all of its stuff and lives there now. This is dumb. Doc said I should let it out when I feel like I have something to say out loud. My throat hurts and right now I just want to say that I'm sad. I'm saying it and I don't know who this is for. I'm saying it to the ocean. I'm sad. There. Do whatever you want with it. Hmm. I have a feeling that he might be sad. The nightmare where I went to, to that new superstore. And a lady with blood coming out of her neck threw glass at me. I might not have been dreaming. It's unclear. I haven't slept in three days. You mean that lady being... Virginia? It was Virginia, wasn't it? There's was not a second floor. So everything has to be down here. But I have no idea where. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, right, the TV was red. <gasps> oh! I forgot about that. And then there's a red light upstairs. What, bro? You fool. You think you can replace Alan's broken personality with a new one? No, who said that? Change it like a light bulb. Go ahead. I can't wait to see it break in your hands. The thing that's going to break in my hands is your neck, bro. I swear to God. I don't think I need to break it with anything. Okay, bro, chill. God damn. Oh, wow. What the fuck? That's, why did that hit there sound like... Teach me how to dug it. The whole... Wow. Oh wait, I can just like do this though. Oh shit, it's really fast. Oh! <gasps> oh, okay, so I was just meant to shoot the fuck out of it. That explains a lot. 
Time to shed some light. Yeah, don't. Of course, no power. Oh, no power. I thought the bulb just blew up, in all fairness. Oh, hell no. Oh. You opened up the grain. What's this? You reap what you sow. You finish what you started, Desmond. Bro, chill. Honestly, like, chill. Delicious. Generator has been showing signs of decay. Sometimes if it's off after cleaning, it needs a push to help it go get going. Oddly enough, I can relate. You need to push off a building, because that's what you're really giving me the signs of, fella. Oh, right, I do have flares. Lucky me. Nah. The only thing that's going to be yours is the mine nuts in your mouth. That, well, shit, my nuts are in your mouth. I was on his better ba ba ba. I'm loving it. Sort of bullshit then. Okay, so I need him back to do that. Bro, hurry up, fam. And there we go. Oh, no, we're good because there's light in here now. Wait, if I go back up now... No, going up, 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 Um, stop. Nah, you're good. You stay there and burn with the light. Oh. The ship, the fire, those weren't your fault. Whatever this chemical is, it's got to be the source. I don't want to be afraid anymore. Afraid of what, Alan? You're braver than you know. Alan's madness came on just as suddenly as Virginia's did. I have no doubt their cases are linked. I need to follow the chemical trail. See where it takes me. Oh, damn. Hey, we getting somewhere. Now can I go find all these these pills I need to find? I can. Lovely stuff. Yeah, whatever that is, it's up there. Which we need to park her up here to get to it. They are pills, okay. Oh wait, one's here. Okay, okay, okay. There's a whole separate place in here. Bills are sometimes hard to swallow, you are not. Weird note. Very weird note. So you want to gobble me up? Ah, huh? you freak. These murky waters are not an accurate reflection of this bay. Oh, there's a way that you can walk to get across. Lovely. There's one on top of the crane. Hmm, who would have thunk of that?
Right, we haven't got all of them. In fact, we got near enough none of them. we still got six more, but you know, I can't sit around here all day. Because I don't know of any more patients that we can get. Which is weird, because obviously we didn't get a tape from that one. I think we got Alan's at the end of the last one, no? You've reached the office of Dr. Desmond Wales. Please leave a message after the tone. Shit. Doc? Doc, are you there? Why would you be there? It's the middle of the goddamn night. This is bad, man. I, I don't even know what's happening. I swear, Doc, I didn't even know it was supposed to come through. What was supposed to come through? He left us a voicemail, why did we not know? I'm getting a copy of the log from the wharf. I know what's coming in. It's not even my job. I just like to be prepared. But that ship... It said nothing about that ship, man. And then the bulb, the bulb quit on me, man. When I needed it the most, it quit on me. Everything was so dark. And then BOOM! The ground is shaking. What? I went down there. I, I wanted to help. I wanted to make sure no one was hurt. But man, I don't know. There are monsters down there, Doc. I swear. I can see them in the shadows. They move around. When I'm not looking, they try to grab me into the floor, Doc. I'm not. I, I, I'm losing it. Oh, I man. I one of those flare guns. Someone must have dropped it. Gotta fight darkness with light. <laughs> How could I not see it sooner? Gotta fight. Wait. They're here. They're here. The men in black. Oh, weird. That guy Nygaard is here. I've seen him around. Around you, man! I, I gotta warn them, Doc. They don't know about the monsters. Gotta fight the darkness with light, man. So maybe what's happened here is to do with that guy that he mentioned there. A Nygaard or something, was it? Hi, Tanya. You're back. Good. I was getting worried. Things are starting to become unstable around here. How so? The ground is shaking. Wait, there's one the here. outside is rising. I know what happened to Alan. I know. I saw. Alan mentioned that driver you were treating. Max Nygaard? Classic bag of cats, that guy. There's probably a door to his house here as well. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Where did this come from? I don't even remember picking this up. Oh man, it is rising. Is it? I don't know. Should be. Up here, right? Oil lamps. Another flare. Because in the last one, we used the item of which... Oh, wait. I oh, know, we got to use the flare to get that one. Because, yeah, the vinyl was to do with the area of which their apartment was in. Times I've woken up here, one. So we didn't find out about the electro gizmos either that are on the roof. So I presume that's someone else's get together, maybe. This door opens. But times I've woken up here, six. Here is in this place. Okay, that one's locked. And then there was another one next door, so we gotta just do this. There we go. That breaks open that. And there's his vinyl. And this is his Roche, Roche test. So basically I just look at these pictures and say the first thing that pops into my head. Mm -hmm. Basically, yes. Okay, ready. First image. <laughs> a trumpet player. Second image. Tall tree. The tower, maybe. Casting a long shadow. Third image. A small sailboat out to sea. It's raining hard, maybe. Maybe it's caught in a storm. Fourth image. Ooh, drapey. Not sure what I'm looking at. It looks like a black hole or, or like a sinkhole. Yeah, that's it. Sinkhole. Endless at the bottom, you know. 
That one made me feel something, Doc. They put a pit in my stomach. Does that mean it worked, the test? And then we've got his vinyl. So yeah, it seems like... Oh, this one opens as well. Times I've woken up here, too. Last night I woke up to the sound of two men whispering outside my window. I peeked and saw what looked like feds taking pictures of the house. I quickly ran downstairs and opened my front door, but they were gone and now I can't sleep. Pretty sure that's what I saw, but I'm not certain. Maybe you can do like the flare gun over there and it'll blow something up. No. Oh right, there's this as Bro, where is the phone? Oh, right there. I'm in the right headspace. Are you? Maybe? And we can also get ventilation here. I can't reach it. <gasps> oh, that's gone downstairs. I know exactly where that's going. Is there a flare around here, please? There isn't. Oh, I got another homework mark point, right? Yeah. Oh wait, I've never been in here before. Now you got a, now we got a proper weapon. So now we go into the apartment of which we unlocked on the left hand side, I think it was. What is this place? See I don't know, I don't understand where I got that tape from, Max's home. Notice a termination of employment, effective 5pm on the 3rd of the 5th. Uh, the 15th of the 3rd, 97. Your employment will be terminated on project number 1138 for the following reason. Reduction in project personnel. Damn, he got... Tenant law workplace. Wrongful termination. Okay, so he believes he was wrongfully terminated. So that tape that I've got must be Max's, Looks right? Like it's out of juice. Max, Alice tells me you punched a hole through your garage wall in the middle of the night for real. She said Madison's room is all on the other side of that wall. Look, this is your family and your business. I'll keep my thoughts to myself, but if you need someone to help you fix up that drywall, let me know. Maybe we can chat while we do it. Either you're stronger than you look or your walls are weak. Worth looking into, your friend Amy. Looks like he did some renovations. That'd be where he punched the wall. Place is extremely dark. Maddie's room is locked. Anything in this mirror? No. Oops, some more shotgun ammo. The in the superior court of the state of Washington it in and for Virgil County. It's a matter having come on for hearing before the undersigned judge slash commissioner of the above entitled court is hereby ordered that sole custody of minor Madison Nygaard shall remain with the defendant Alice Nygaard. The plaintiff, the plaintiff Max Nygaard is denied visitation rights due to repeated incidents of domestic disturbance. Moreover, the restraining order is issued on behalf of the defendant against the, plan the plaintiff shall remaining effect of the remainder of its duration. The court may re reconsider its decision at a later date, provided the plaintiff undergoes mental health treatment and receives a positive evaluation from a mental health expert, in addition to maintaining stable employment. And I suppose he came to us to fulfil that. Yeah, see look, that's the tape that we, we got an extra tape somewhere. Obviously, He 
come to us to get that, his child back, or at least visitation, I suppose. And then he must have lost his job then. Things to make me angry. One false accusations, two therapy, three potholes, four people. Poor fella. Poor fella. He seems to be in for it all. Right, well, we are going to our room at once. Fuck off! What? So, you're heading into Nygaard's tape, are you? No! I strongly suggest you don't. You're not equipped, not strong enough. Brother, I have a shotgun. You, and that's my job. I literally have a shotgun. So, who was Max working for? And what were they doing with those chemicals? We're about to find out. I never liked that guy. Watch yourself around him. But I'm not going Once to him. Once more onto the breach. You got this. No, eject that. I want to use this one here. I need to figure this out. Because that's not Alan and that's not... Maybe it's Alice. What's the chances? It's Alan's. Oh. Oh, because we never ejected his tape. So, I'm absolutely clueless on what Alan's tape looks like, and that's... Oh, okay. That's awkward. So, yeah, that's my tape. Virginia. Uh, Alan. Max. You got this. this will be another patient, and then this might be one of our ending ones, or there just won't be one here, but we've got two more patients than it seems. Right, so... Max... Max has anger issues, right? Which means that Alan might have had schizophrenia instead. I'm still not quite sure. But hey-ho. Why do you even want to record this? What's in it for you, blackmail? Never. Mr. Nygaard, if you're not comfortable being recorded, I'll, I'll turn it right off. No, I got nothing to hide. We're here for the truth, right? Court-ordered truth, right? Yes, the court did mandate these sessions, but this is a place where we'll work on healing. And generally speaking, the truth is good for that. Hmm. Well, I ain't no liar. Not like Alice says. Alice is your... Ex-wife. She's my wife! I didn't sign no paper that says otherwise. Mm. Everybody's trying to upend my life here. Trying to ruin my marriage. Take my kid away and turn her against me. Next is what? You want to take away my rights? My freedom? Tell you what, why don't you give me them pills you're probably paid to give out and I'll pretend like I take them so I can go home. I'm a therapist, Max, not a psychiatrist. I don't prescribe medication. I am here to help. Aww. We can work our way around to talking about Alice later. Tell me, how do you feel about your work at the quarry? Quarry's dead. Meyer bought up all that land. I drive for them now. Not that it makes any difference, driving is driving. Gotta help them deliver some big shipment one of these nights and they're being all secretive about it. But I don't care what the job is, I'll do it. Use the money to pay for my little girl's college, cause guess what? I am a good father. Despite what they say. I ain't... I ain't questioning it, fella. I'm sure you're a wonderful father. I mean, not a wonderful person, but at least a wonderful father. Get to the old factory. Oh, you know what? With that being said, we're going to try and keep to find a war. There's a lot of them. That's a lot of pills. He doesn't even tell me yet. I suppose I have to pick up the first one beforehand. Damn. But yeah, as I was saying. This is where we're going to end this episode. We'll move straight on into the factory. I can already see it right there. So, we'll move straight there. I don't think like I'm going to get much more, if I'm honest with you. I look like I've got quite a bit already. So, 
Maybe this might be where we find a little electric gizmo that messes with the radio frequencies. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's something completely different. I don't know. But with that all being said, if you enjoyed this video, go down below, that subscribe button, the bell to be notified when I post. If you enjoyed it that much, consider hitting the like button, it all helps out. And if you'd like to see any other games in the future, drop those down in the comments and I'm sure I'll get around to playing them eventually. With that all being said, we'll see you in the next episode. See ya!